game of our Very Dusty collection. This one I played for 13 minutes at the end of February in 2013. So, um, I absolutely don't remember anything from the basement collection, but we're here and we're getting ready. I have done a little stretch. Um, I really needed some fresh air. Oh, but I'm just going to take a couple minutes while, um, I wait for you guys to mosey on in while I wait for that see about getting a window cracked open it is beautiful and breeze and fresh air is healthy for everybody let me unlock the window before I try to open it wow there we go All right now to lock this puppy oh that air it's crisp so, so crisp, so clean. Um, there might be a little bit of noise from out. I don't think it's open the curtain a little bit too, let some good vitamin D light in here. Blanket on the back of the chair so it's out of the way. Right. We're getting there. We're getting cozy. We're getting comfy. But welcome back to the stream. Oh, let's get some, um, some, some window, good old windows noises in here. Yeah. Okay, cool. <clears throat> that was a little bit awkward. That's okay. Um, all right. Go ahead and switch over the uh, the input there. Um, I have a little errand to run before I go into work. It's a good thing that I'm not coming in until later. Hmm. Excuse me. But how is... How is the game? We're about to find out. Let's enter. Alright, so... It looks like there are several... Whoa! Okay, so it took two weeks to make this game, and I guess these three guys did that. Um, Edmund McMillan did the design and art. Tyler Glale did programming and design, and then Tyler and Danny did the soundtrack. So... That's kind of impressive. I don't know what all goes into creating a game. But I imagine it's not that easy. So... There are... One... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven different games, I think, that we can choose from. Um... I'm something I've been waiting for you. Spewer, I should, should not have ordered seconds, and Cerebral Discharge, what's this one? Triacnid, an old movie. Coil, open up and let me in, and Meat Boy, the original Flash prototype. Oh, and what's this? The soundtrack, music to make, yeah. that's good. Um, well, I, we can start with Meat Boy. I've actually never played any of those games. 
So why not? Um, let's see, there's seven games. We can spend a, a good few minutes on each one. If we want to get through all of them. Oh my god. New grounds. Oh no. Meat boy. I haven't been on new grounds in forever. All right. Um, chapter one. Go to Hello World. I'm guessing this is our girlfriend or something. Whoa, we switched it. Yes. Yeah. Um, played the ball for an hour and then swapped on over to basement collection. That was next in the list. I'm going alphabetically. <laughs> So, hello, and welcome to Meat Boy. Let's begin by getting used to the basic controls. You can walk left and right using the arrow keys, and you can jump using space. Try reaching Band-Aid Girl in the top right corner. Oh, that's her name. Press M at any time to mute the game. Well, we're not muting the game. Probably. Hi. Oh, and here she is, taken away from us again. When Edmund McMillan says it's peanut butter jelly time, every gosh diddly darn person on the northwestern continent sits down and has a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. So, enter to advance, escape to exit. Most of the time, regular jumping just won't cut it. In situations like these, it's necessary to wall jump. Wall jump first, jump against a wall, and then press space. Remember, you can always skip one or two levels... Per level set, don't feel obligated to beat every single one. We'll do our gosh diddly darn best. Okay. Oops. Okay. <laughs> I've never been the best at wall jumping. Okay. <laughs> no. Okay, let's try again. Yes! Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. This is... Ma'am, you are a distraction. A fluffy distraction, but still definitely a distraction. This isn't easy. Don't complain at me. <laughs> no, damn it. Uh, oh. My weakness. My one true weakness. Ness. Oh, heck. We saw everything is fine. I'm not going to be stump on the wall jumps for five minutes. I mean, hopefully. <laughs> okay, here we go. And da da da. Oh. oh, riveting. So good. So grand. And all right, <laughs> eh, come on, here we go. All right, nope, one more time. Meat Boy is a very challenging platformer, as you can tell, it gets very complicated. I can't even imagine how much more com complicated it can get from than wall jumps. 
Precision, jumpy. Yeah, precision. That's one way. Dang it. Okay. Uh, nope. Come on. Come on. I'm not mad. I'm really not. This is my my enemy. All right. Can we make the next jump? Can we? Nope. Dang it. Dang it. It's like dang, but feminine. <laughs> feminine. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Okay, stretch it out. Stretch it out. It's fine. It's just a jump. Just a wall jump. That's all it is. <sighs> okay. Nope. Nope. Really? Too late? Not at all. None of that. Uh, uh. Okay. Didn't jump high enough. Ling! And a go. Uh, okay. Miss Band-Aid. Gal. Your hero is made of meat and cannot jump. Ha! <laughs> okay. Ma'am. Alright. <sighs> that was hard enough. Dang, son. Okay. 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 Um. No. No. Ah. Hey, guys. If you haven't already, please feel free to share my Facebook post if you're, if you're my friend. Um, we're playing all kinds of dusty basement games. Uh, not necessarily just the basement collection, but any game that I have downloaded, or not downloaded, specifically not downloaded from Steam, my Steam library and played for more than, in this case, more than 13 minutes. Or played in a long time for that matter. It's a grand old time. I am not the best at precision platforming wall jumping games. Spewer, it's a fluid physics puzzle and is grossly cute. I mean, I was thinking about going through as many of them as I could, playing um, maybe 10 or 15 minutes of each, unless I'm struggling with it like I am this one. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> All right. Y'all, I can't wall jump. Time is running short on this one. We may have to go to the next one. Dang it. Crack the knuckles. Okay. Darn ski. Uh, afternoon. Hey, Blitz. You're joining just in time. We're learning. I really cannot wall jump. I was just joking earlier. Oh, goodness. How are you today? Oh. I think I'm getting frustrated, and so I'm just not doing much better at this one. 
um, Band-Aid girl is gonna have to wait. We're moving on to the... Are you sure you want to exit? You will lose unsaved progress? Yeah, that's okay. I didn't get far anyway. Anyway. On to Coil. Let's open up and let, let me in. Oh, I hate this game. Good, got the bedroom office clean. Hey, congrats! I am proud of you. Uh, you hate me Meat Boy or you hate the basement collection? <laughs> Let's play Coil. Oh, Meat Boy. Yep. I don't know how or why they made Super Meat Boy, and I'm sure there was another um, Was there another sequel? Okay. Got the game, played for like 15 minutes, and deleted it, cursing the creators. Did you play it on Newgrounds, or did you play it in, um... This. Wow, how do I even start the game? When she awoke from the coil, time didn't wait for her. It just watched her whimper as it crushed her ego, cracking her just enough to reach inside. Excuse me, is that sperm? Got it off steam. I don't remember exactly. Oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> Where are the little sperm? <laughs> Oh, we got a wiggle to swim. That's so funny. We're on a journey. We gotta find an egg. No. I used to play the Henry. Oh, I used to play Henry Stephen games on Newgrounds. So nice, we found our egg, and now we're going through mitosis. He whispered as she was divided. This will make you remember that I'm a part of you. Each cell is marked by my name. You can't ever leave me. I'm all that you have. Ooh, okay. What, what are we doing? I'm not sure. Hold on. Are we, like, trying to boot these guys out? As far as... <sighs> um... We don't even have to, like, click. They're all together now. Okay. I mean, 
mean, I guess this is kind of fun. Oh, okay. What are we doing? Any ideas? It looks like we're just playing with a bunch of balls. game in the pack. Yeah, it does feel that way. Um, proceed when Oh, gosh. Me the baby. When he released her, she could feel his wet hair run through her fingers as she descended into the darkness. His face, distorted by the distance, faded to the night. She was alone, yet she could still feel him inside her. The feeling was comforting. What? Oh, excuse you. I'm not trying to like. We're just trying to go down. Excuse you. No, let me go. Let me go. Thank you. We're, we're just bouncing around. Excuse me. No, let me go. Please, please. This is an interesting game. I'll give it that. Excuse you. Let me go. Wow. Hey, stay away. No. What the heck are these guys? They look like little fingers. Oh, flagellas. Flagellates. Fla flagellate. <laughs> Ma'am, please. Dude, I don't know what this game is. So, the basement collection itself is a collection of a bunch of little games. I'm guessing all of them were from Newgrounds, but we started off in this one as a sperm. <laughs> oh. I'm struggling, though. He's... Did we make it to the bottom now? Oh, yay. She would find herself reaching out to others, taking small pieces of them with hers. Mementos, these are things she felt were important, things that made these people significant. Every aspect of her being was composed of others. Her arms grew stronger with every embrace and lips grew fuller with every kiss. Cute. What? Who bought?
Sorry about that, uh, Blitz. The, um... I'm working Moobot out, or working on Moobot, and trying to figure out things. Um, I, I can see the chat, and any messages that seem to be censored, I'm, accept I'm accepting them. I'm accepting the messages as I see them. I'm doing my best. So if, if a message isn't going through, just give me a second. It will. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... so we're collecting things now. On, get in here. It's cool. It's fine. Life's good. Moobot and Nightbot are a pain to set up. Yeah, I guess it's more just time. Come here. Everything's fine. Life is good. Just, uh... Oh, you boys are heavy. Dang. Oh, what are you? I don't want you, whatever you are. Okay, so that one was quite a bit easier. Uh, watching his hands reached out to pull them away, their essence consumed and nothing remained. She would fantasize what it was like to feel his hands on her body, penetrating her and draining her into nothing. Okay. This is a bit... What? What? Dog. What is this? What is going on? Gotta go. Phone's dying. Didn't bring a charger with me. Oh. Oh. See you next time. See you later. I didn't mean to kill your phone. Um. Lurk. All right, well, thank you very much for the lurk. Um, I'm not going to play this game much longer, actually. Yeah, we're we're exiting whole sperm here. Yes, and we're going to move on to the next one. Triacnid. Oldie but a goodie. Okay, so... Instructions. You can pick up and move the triacnids' feet by clicking on them with the left mouse button and dragging them. Triacnids' feet can attach to almost any surface. You can also position its head to help him balance with the AS, the YAST keys. Um, you can grab onto objects by picking up a foot and picking up that foot with the right mouse button. And pressing against an object, releasing it under the jaws place it into its mouth to be eaten or held. Okay, so right button. Web spinning. It can send a web from its head. It's from its head, its feet by selecting a foot with your mouse and then pressing space. So space makes webs, space webs. It's selected foot against platforms with the left mouse button and releasing it will attach the web to them. Grabbing your line with right click as you repel will stop the line from being spun. Pressing it will pressing it again will cut its line. Okay. Um, let's just get started. It's fine. So 
so I guess Mama got eaten. Hmm. Okay, so there is kind of a tutorial. Dropping, dragging and dropping his feet. <laughs> okay. Brag. Drop. Oh no, I hate this already. Come on. Up here. And up here. What? I remember this game. I remember playing it during my 13 minutes. At least the music's nice. Okay. Completed that level. Move your egg sack to the end of each level to complete it. Also, looking out for lost larva, pick it up, and other objects with the right mouse button. Bringing objects to your mouth and releasing will allow you to carry things in your mouth. Locate the hidden switch to open the cave. Okay. Oh, what? Come back. I did that wrong. I'm so sorry. Where'd you go? Oh, heck. I lost the eggs, guys. My only mission. I had one job, and I lost it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I'm... Okay, now we've got it. Ugh. I can't imagine the struggle that bugs go through every day of their lives. But... But... Hey guys, if you're in the stream, uh, please feel free to share... Um... <sighs> no! Heck. Dang it. Um, share the Twitch link, let your friends know that we're, um, playing a bunch of little games all day, about an hour on each game, just anything that's in my Steam library that I have, excuse me, have but have not played for any significant amount of time. Um, not only is it a way for me to, like, figure out what I've been missing out on, but hey, you guys get to experience a bunch of games. 
with me. It's a bunch of just like blind playthroughs, basically. Was that me like bashing the egg against the thing? Or was that like a monster? But... Oh, um, and Zero Tarot in chat is one of my friends and he plays every weekday. Um, let's balance the head. Um, what time? Do you have a specific time you usually play? He, he um, accepts donations during the course of his stream to help pay for medical bills. Needless to say, he's not had the, the best luck with um, goodness from one to five. Let's not lose the egg again. He... Come on. Come on. Let's make it. Yes. Ugh. Come on. Oh no. No. Gah, dang. Lost the egg again. This. This is not fun. Oh, it's okay. At least it's not like what? Bennett. Body. That that mountain climbing game. Oh, good. Ness. Come here. Well, at least our little track knit is happy. Okay. One more time. I think maybe I'm just getting too aggressive. Because if you hit the ground too hard, it might actually... Alright, we're attaching there. We're grabbing this foot. S swing it. And gently, gently now. Ah, uh, made it. Oh, good. Very good. It's a tender operation, you know? Very, very tender. All right, I'm gonna... Are those spikes or those are spikes? Jesus, why? No, foot, come back. Uh... Oh, well, that's okay. Well, that's it for that little section. What's next? Ether. Aether? Ether? Space is my best friend. Let us see. Classic? Or, or Danny B? Bonus soundtrack. I love bonus soundtracks. Hmm. A story is told of a boy who was lonesome who strayed a bit far from his home. Art has a very binding of Isaac feel. I wonder if any of the same developers worked on that. As the daylight grew dimmer, he saw a faint glimmer lost in the wake of sea foam. For the boy had a feeling that this monster was kneeling to offer his hand to a friend. The boy darted away, but then turned to stay, afraid of the message he'd send. He lowered his head and the boy bustled up, looking proud atop his new steed. 
For the boy had a venture, he was bound for adventure, and the monster had planted the seed. Looking up to the stars, he thought to himself, imagine all of the people up there. Could they all be as lonely, or am I one and only? Would the people on Earth really care? So our story unfolds, a boy and his pet, leaving his home without care or regret. Truly a tale that none will forget. I'm a sucker for rhymes. Explore the galaxy by swinging yourself into space, grab clouds and asteroids with your monster's tongue, and swing to start your ascent. Each planet has a puzzle, it's your job to find and solve that puzzle. Use WASD to, in, to move in space and jump. W to jump when on a planet. When latched to a cloud, use WASD to swing. Click a cloud with the mouse to shoot your tongue at it. Release the mouse to let go. Okay. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Ah. Well, there's the moon. Okay. Or no, just planets and asteroids. Well, we just launched. I'm not sure where we're going, but I'm following the blue arrow. like a water planet. Malasis's moon. You're nothing special.
Okay. Wonder where we can go from here. Yeah, I think it's just adventuring and discovering new things because landing on that planet, I got an achievement for Malasis's moon or however it said. But let's land on this yellow spot and then we'll go to a different, the next game on the list. Illustrations are nice, though. Oh. Bibluon. Bibulon? I'll never amount to anything. They all think I'm dumb. Oh. Okay. Grumpy. Disgruntled. Alright. Well. Uh, yes. Let's... Oh, excuse me. Time. Heck. Just a sec, I'll be right back. I'm going to, um... All right, so time stuff I have been waiting for you. What is this? Play, 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 play. Okay, 
we're, we're going to play. William Good. Justin Carpell. Time, time. Present. Kali Covision vibes. Is that a game? Hello, I will tell you what the buttons to my left mean when you mouse over them. No, seriously. Clicking start will start you on your game. Seems obvious enough. Clicking create will let you design your own levels to submit for others to play. Some might call it a map editor. Load lol. Paste in your level code and hit load lol to play it. Spoiler alert, it's probably not that good because you are a worthless human. Enter the unknown. Entering the unknown simulates a full game randomly generated from user-made levels arranged by difficulty. And then erase save data. Oh, uh, excuse me. An old system competed with Atari. Okay. The blue room. That means it will stick with you when you switch dimensions. Okay. Very lucky graphics and color palette. I gotcha. I think I know what you're talking about. Um, probably a similar part to like Mr. Game and Watch. Okay. So D is jump. Uh, space is jump also. Uh, It is arrows. Okay, you can also like we are stuck here forever. There's no way out. Oh, I can raise my hands. Yes, ma'am. I hate you. I just wanted to point that out. Okay. Good. Good, good, good talk. Um. Wondering if it's just going to like time out. I am error. Okay. Help me, I'm in hell. Okay, or is does this just like time out maybe? And eventually wall break or something maybe? I really doubt it. Okay. As far as I can tell we are actually stuck in this room. I think I'm back in room four. Am I going backwards? I don't know, dude. Okay, so pause. Stasis lock in effect. That's cool. We do want the music. Restart, skip level, replay message. Watching it will make it blink. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, I can't just like stop it. Um, what? Why should I do that? If seriously, how did how did Six, twenty-one, three, eleven. Oh, okay. Did I press the button? Okay, so R makes me explode. I guess that's the restart. Did your hands fall off? Here. Oh. That may be because I have the window open for some fresh air. I can go ahead and close it. Oof. There we go. I got enough fresh air for now. Oh, shit. Damn it. I don't know what button I pressed, but somehow we switched. I hit R again. But we, we switched, like, dimensions. Okay, P is pause. R is restart. E, Q to E, do nothing. Okay, it's A. Um, okay. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's. I think I figured it out. I think I need to push one into the other. Stop whispering to me while I sleep. Okay, I think I just messed this up again. But we're making progress. Hmm. Oh, shoot. Whoops. Okay, I think I figured it out. I said that last time, but it's okay. Oh. I meant to not push it that far. 
So I was thinking that if this one is actually where I'm standing, it'll stay in this dimension. And while standing on the, on top of this one here, yep, it would keep it and I could just jump. Okay, so let's just do that. Okay, one more time. Oh, inked. Heck. <sighs> okay. This one. No. This one gets pushed over. Then this one comes with us. Swap. And here. Yes! Okay, nice. Oh. I mean, like, do we have to wall jump again? Nope. Okay, good. But we're too short. Get the key. Huh. Well, we've run out of time on this game anyway. Pause. Exit. That's a conundrum. I'll have to come back to that later. I should not have worked. If you have a level code you want to play, paste it here and press the map editor button. Okay, um, so, oh, this is really floaty. Oh, okay. Okay. So this doctor is observing us and our very floating mechanics. Okay. Maybe the other one's a little bit closer. Nope. Hmm. Wonder if we can gain a little bit of momentum. Oops. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see if... Damn it, I did it again. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Nope, there's no momentum in this. Are there any other buttons that I should know about? Regurgitating, what? Oh, that's restart. Okay, and 
and as usual, P is pause. There are a lot of station stages. F G A M N B B C X Z. Okay. So spacebar opens your mouth, I guess, and then I'm just using the arrows. Hmm. What? Oh my god. Click. Oops. Is that like, give me more oomph? Okay. Shoot. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Almost. Okay. Actually, that's not much closer than we've been. Uh, I'm already spending too much time on this game. That's an interesting mechanic, though. Cerebral Discharge. Last game of the Basement Collection. Gray Matter. Start. We're, we're doing normal. Might have a chance. Move, boost, slow, and pause. Trinity attack killing three enemies of the same type will cause a Trinity attack killing everything encased in its outline. Stress is nothing more than a socially acceptable form of mental illness. Take your meds, boost, option, shield, and one up. We don't have any points. Oh yeah, no, these games are all new groundy.
Do I keep losing? Yeah, I guess so. Um... Oh, I keep getting shot. That's what's happening. Son of a gun. Okay. Death is not the greatest loss in life. The greatest loss is what dies inside us while we live. Game over. Okay, let's try that again. It's inside my triangle. Oh, I got shot. Probably don't want to see my mouse on the screen, right? Come on. Okay. Arrows are not my... Or... Tay... Okay, are there tails, like, toxic or something? Yeah, it's gotta be the tails. Heck. Shoot. Shield. That was luck. Oh, goodness gracious, all of these attacks. Okay. What? Oh, least favorite. They look like little booties, not little brains. Come on. Oh, yeah, we... we thing. Oops. The, uh... glass breaking sound is very satisfying, though. Um, kind of like that one. That's the end of that collection. Oh. Ugh, stretch. Thank you guys very much for joining me on dusting off some of these games. Um, so tomorrow is a little bit, uh, a little bit different from my normal stream. I'm actually um, working in the middle of the actually be playing a little bit later tomorrow. Let's see, looking at the schedule. Um, and I will update the next stream to have the correct time, but I'll be home and probably online about 5.36 ish. I'll make sure to post on my Facebook page. Um, that is Cozy Rav on Facebook. And I actually have all these links on, on my uh, Twitch page, so you'll be able to just click them and go. But um, if you want to go ahead and search in Facebook, do Cozy, that's C-O-Z-I underscore 
R-A-V, um, you'll be able to follow that page. I also have Instagram. That's CozyRav without the underscore. I am working on switching over my username on here and everywhere to have no underscore. But um, I'll start probably about 5.30. Now let's keep it on the hour. I'm going to start at 6. That way I have time in case I get off late to um, eat a little something, refresh, and be ready to just sit and enjoy. But um, tomorrow is going to be the usual Moonlighter. Oh, no, actually, tomorrow is not the usual. I will be playing something. We haven't figured it out yet with Diesel Viking Gaming. Um, that's one of my really good friends. If you guys want to give him a follow, that's I'm going to put his username in the chat right now. That's Diesel, D-I-E-S-E-L, Viking, all one word, not a, not a W, Viking, and then Gaming. Um, that's him. A uh, super cool guy. But he and I will be playing together tomorrow. You can either watch me here or watch him over there. But it's going to be good. Thank you very much for stopping in. Um, thank you for having me. And I hope you guys have an excellent weekend. Until then, I'll see you next time.